to go but the first was the king of Austrasia, king of all the Franks, and king of Neustria and Burgundy. He was the last king of the Merovingian dynasty to wield any real royal power. Dagobert was the first of the Frankish kings to be buried in the royal tombs at St. Denis Basilica, rule in Austrasia. Dagobert was the eldest son of Clotha II and Haldetruda. Clotha had reigned alone over all the Franks since 613. In 623, Clotha was forced to make Dagobert king of Austrasia by the nobility of that region, who wanted a king of their own. When Clotha granted Austrasia to Dagobert, he initially excluded Alsace, the Vosges, and the Ardennes. But shortly thereafter the Austrasian nobility forced him to concede these regions to Dagobert. The rule of a Frank from the Austrasian heartland tied Alsace more closely to the Austrasian court. Dagobert created a new duchy in southwest Austrasia to guard the region from Burgundian or Alemannic encroachments and ambitions. The duchy comprised the Vosges, the Burgundian Gate, and the Transjura. Dagobert made his courtier Gundua the first duke of this new polity that was to last until the end of the Merovingian dynasty. United rule. Upon the death of his father in 629, Dagobert inherited the Neustrian and Burgundian kingdoms. His half-brother Chari Bear, son of Sichild, claimed Neustria but Dagobert opposed him. Brodulf, brother of Sichild, petitioned Dagobert on behalf of his young nephew, but Dagobert assassinated him and gave the Aquitaine to his own younger sibling. Charibert and his son Chilperic were assassinated in 632. Dagobert had Burgundy and Aquitaine firmly under his rule, becoming the most powerful Merovingian king in many years and the most respected ruler in the West. In 631, Dagobert led three armies against Samo, the rulers of the Slavs, but his Austrasian forces were defeated at Wogastisberg, rule in Neustria, from Paris. Also in 632, the nobles of Austrasia revolted under the mayor of the palace, Pepin of Landen. In 634, Dagobert appeased the rebellious nobles by putting his three-year-old son, Sigobert III, on the throne thereby ceding royal power in the east and most of his realms, just as his father had done for him eleven years earlier. As king, Dagobert made Paris his capital. During his reign, he built the Altus Schloss in Merseburg, which today is the oldest inhabited castle in that country. Devoutly religious, Dagobert was also responsible for the construction of the St. Denis Basilica at the site of a Benedictine monastery in Paris. He also appointed St. Arbages Bishop of Strasbourg. Dagobert died in the Abbey of St. Denis and was the first Frankish king to be buried in the St. Denis Basilica, Paris, marriage and children. The author of the Chronicle of Fredegar criticizes the king for his loose morals in having three queens almost simultaneously, as well as several concubines. The chronicle names the queens, Nanthild and the otherwise obscure Wolfgundis and Birchildish, but none of the concubines, stating that a full list of concubines would be too long. In 625 6, Dagobert married Gormatruda, a sister of his father's wife's Sichild, but the marriage was childless. After divorcing Gormatruda in 629 30th he made Nanthile, a Saxon servant from his personal entourage, his new queen. She gave birth to Clovis II, later king of Neustria and Burgundy. Shortly after his marriage to Nanthile, he took a girl called Ragnetruda to his bed, who gave birth to his youngest son, Sigobit III, later king of Austrasia. It is possible that Regentrude, abbess of Nonberg Abbey, was also a child of Dagobert. She married into the Bavarian Agelolfing family. Coinage. Trions of Dagobert I, Oozers, 629 to 639, gold 1.24 grams. Monet de Paris. Solidus of Dagobert I, Marseille, 623-629, Cabernet des Medi, Trions of Dagobert I and Munia Romanos, Orgona, 629-639, Gold 1.32 grams.
Monet de Paris. Source. Corley, Charles, Medieval Lands Project on de Gobert the First, King of the Franks, Foundation for Medieval Genealogy. Retrieved August 2012, better source needed.